Hello, my name is Lawrence Helfer. I am honored that the United States has nominated me for election to the Human Rights Committee for the 2023-2026 term. I want to share with you why I'm running and what I hope to accomplish if I'm elected. The International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, or the ICCPR as it's commonly known, is the most important global treaty that protects fundamental civil and political liberties. These include the rights to life, to be free from slavery and torture, to a fair trial, and to freedom of expression and association. The Human Rights Committee's independent experts play a vital role in monitoring the implementation of these and other rights for the 173 states parties that have ratified the ICCPR. The committee has a long history of engagement with governments as well as individual rights holders and civil society groups. These interactions have led to many positive changes in national laws and policies that have helped to improve lives all over the world. The committee's three principal activities, reviewing state party reports, evaluating communications from individuals, and issuing guidance in general comments help to ensure that the ICCPR is interpreted and applied in ways that make the rights it protects practical, effective, and responsive to contemporary challenges. This is the important work to which I want to contribute, and I believe it is work for which I am well qualified. I have spent my professional career engaging with the international human rights system, first as a practicing lawyer and then as a teacher and scholar at several universities in the United States and Europe. My research is based on a careful analysis of treaty texts and case law, as well as interviews with government officials, judges, lawyers, and civil society groups in regions all around the world. These diverse professional experiences have taught me that UN monitoring bodies such as the committee are essential to helping governments live up to their obligations to protect civil and political rights. These experiences have also given me a unique perspective on how human rights apply to real world problems and are implemented on the ground. For example, I've worked with NGOs, state officials, and international organizations to promote a new treaty that helps to realize the rights of persons with visual disabilities by expanding access to copyrighted books. I have made presentations to the committee and to the UN Human Rights Council regarding discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. I have analyzed how regional economic courts in East and West Africa have become venues for protecting human rights. And I have lectured at intergovernmental conferences organized by the European Court of Human Rights and the Council of Europe. If elected, I want to focus on how the Human Rights Committee interacts with state parties and other stakeholders in two key areas. First, identifying issues of particular concern that impede full implementation of the ICCPR. And second, improving compliance and guarding against retrenchment and backsliding. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic has increased challenges for states, including with regard to rights such as freedom of movement and peaceful assembly. But beyond the pandemic, the basic commitment to human rights is viewed as threatening by some groups in some countries. The committee can help states uphold their obligation to respect civil and political liberties, notwithstanding these challenges, including by explaining how important and unassailable the obligations in the ICCPR are and must remain. At the same time, it's important to undertake appropriate measures to streamline the reporting process and eliminate duplicative requirements that impose unnecessary burdens on states, especially developing and smaller countries. But we must do this while guarding against any watering down of the ICCPR's obligations or adopting reforms that would undercut the committee's functions. I hope I've given you some sense of the importance of the committee's work, of who I am, and of the commitment and background that I would bring as an independent expert. If elected, I promise that I will do everything I can to work with states and with the other actors involved with the committee 
to promote its work and make it a success. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I hope I can count on your vote in New York in June.